everyone. Welcome back to Transfer Talk. Hope you're having a great Friday and are looking forward to the rest of your weekend. Apologies for the late upload today. I have had a hectic day. Now then, Newcastle United are linked with another winger. This time, it is Real Madrid's Marco Asensio. The 26-year-old wants to leave Los Blancos this summer, wants that first team football. He's won all the trophies anyway. You know what I mean? He's clocked it. He's won all the trophies, won the Champions League, won the Liga and whatnot. Wants to test himself overseas now, but wants to get that first team action. Real Madrid are willing to sell Asensio because he's about to enter his final year of his contract at Madrid. Talk of being able to get him as cheap as £25 million. According to the Daily Mail, which uh, to my eyes, it's a bargain for anyone these days. You know what I mean? I'd say, I'd, I hate the, you know, do it again, but it's Chris Wood. That's Chris Wood's value. You know, I know he's really cool as well, but £25 million, I'm just saying, doesn't get you much these days, does it? So £25 million for Asensio. Good bit of business, wouldn't it, really? I mean, he's, uh, we've also got rise and my heart set on Moussa Diaby. Well, I have, anyways. Um, you know, there's many wingers. Like I said, this is another one being added to the list, the growing list of wingers that Newcastle United and Eddie Howe are linked with, in particular, Dan Ashworth. Now, we've got Harrison from Leeds. We're trying to get Rafinha. We're trying for Gordon from Everton. Chelsea's Hudson Odoi. So, today, like I said, it's Real Madrid's Essencio. And Newcastle all battling out with AC Milan and Liverpool. For his signature now, he's been a long-term target in Liverpool, but I just can't see Liverpool saying him. They just don't need him. They've got Luis Diaz. Yes, they've lost Marnie, but they've got Darwin in there. And again, Asensio, I don't think, would go to play second fiddle. The whole point of leaving Madrid is because he wants first-team football, so he's not going to get that at Liverpool. Would he get that at AC Milan? Yes, but can they afford him? It looks like no. It looks like he was close to joining at the start of the summer window. Now, the attention's turned elsewhere, so we're making a double double whammy on AC like we did with Botman. We'll take Asensio. It's a strange one, this though, right? Because the, the guy put this tweet out last night, a Spanish journalist, about Asensio, and it's really gathered pace. And it's hit all the UK outlets today, all the journalists and news as are talking about it. But all the Spanish were happy. You know, the Real Madrid fans, and let's not Real Madrid fans too highly because, you know, they hated Ronaldo and Bale for some mental reason after winning them everything year after year. You know, I remember Ronaldo getting shit like stones thrown out his car. I mean, his, his record off there was unbelievable. Bale, bit of a mixed relationship with them. But, essentially, you know, there was a lot of gracias. So for you, they're not quite as switched on as me. And it's a thank you in Spanish. <laughs> so a lot of the fans were saying, thank you, yes, please take them. Get rid of them. Have them. You know what I mean? Because they, they don't want them. But like I said, Madrid fans aren't quite the most grateful. Specs are on. Quick look at another article. The Chronicle are saying that Newcastle are prepared to offer 20 million for the 26-year-old and are optimistic of getting a reduced fee since, as I mentioned, his contract expires next summer. Quick little look at Asensio then before we'll do a proper video we did sign as we always do on our, our signings, but uh, Asensio was born in Mallorca, <laughs> popular little destination there for the two Norway travellers. He could have actually represented Netherlands through his Dutch-born mother but opted for Spain. Been playing for them ever since the under-17s. He then went to Mallorca, played for Mallorca, and Real Madrid snapped him up. And in the past several years, he's, he went back on loan as well, by the way, but he, in the past several years, he has represented Spain 28 times and made 235 appearances for the white of Real Madrid. Again, the thing I like about signing someone like Asensio is obviously what he brings in terms of major honours. Being in that winning mentality in the dressing room, just like Kieran Trippier did. I mean, at Real Madrid, this bloke has won it all, as I mentioned at the start of the video. He's won... Three Champions League, three La Ligas, a plethora of Super Cups, and actually scored in the Champions League final when they beat Juventus 4 1 in Stockish time. He scored that goal. The teams that are looking at since you are thinking he is going to be ready made for the Premier League, his built, his style of play really does suit the demands of the English Premier League. And he has scored some absolute screamers. He has scored some belters at Real Madrid. Check them out on YouTube. There's a plethora, I'll use that word again, there's loads of uh, screamers. That he scored Asensio. So if you get that in yet, another left foot one, just like Robert back in the day, that would go down a tree. But, anyways, I think we're getting way too in here, Asensio. I don't want to talk about him too much because this is just the transfer room at the minute. It isn't certain, it isn't even official that a bid's been made or anything like that. This is transfer talk, a rumour heating up over the past 24 hours. Asensio in Newcastle for 20 to even 30 million pounds. Outgoings, there could be an interesting one. Now, today, Martin DeRafka's agent has said he doesn't want to play second fiddle. He is not interested in being a backup goalkeeper or even fighting for competition, which is a bit shit. I mean, that should be expected at any top-level club, which Newcastle are trying to become now. Yes, Dubravka and many others have had it easy for years with nobody behind the back threatening to even take the place at any time, at any moment. But now that Dubravka's got a bit of competition, his agent apparently 
wants him to get a move because he doesn't fancy battling it out with Nick Pope. Now, there's no way Nick Pope signed for Newcastle without the guarantee if I think Staunton is number one next season. I think Nick Pope will be our number one goalkeeper straight in from the off against Forrest. I do. He's got a World Cup this year. He needs to be playing. Well, maybe Forrest, he might not. You know, first couple of weeks, they might. Actually, still fuck it. I'm going to put it out there. I, th- I think he will be. And by the looks of it, he definitely will be. Because Dubravka wants away. His agent's saying that he's not going to be happy with being on the bench. And it'll be a matter of time before Dubravka is on the bench. And Pope is stone And you expect Pope to keep his place. So Dubravka, if he's not happy, what is he now? 32 33 Dubravka. If he's not happy, you know, competing, then out you go. Which is a bit of a pain, considering now we've had got good competition with two top goalkeepers. If Dubravka wanted to move, like I say, it's a. Uh, it's disappointing, you know, it's a shame because then would we have to go out there and look for another goalkeeper or cancel Dolo's move that's proposed to a championship side, you know, it's a bit of a sticky one at the minute, but Dorefka apparently wants out. Right, and that'll do it to late Friday night, I've got still got shit to do, so drop your comments below what you think of Asensio, what you think of Dorefka, who do you think will be starting in goal for Newcastle come the 6th of August against Forest? Please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, please have a great weekend, thank you, see you soon. <laughs>